I see. I see a cat. There's a cat. I think that's Echo. Sorry, I, 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 I'm looking at my uh, second channel. I want to see. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is it weird? I've never I've seen, seen any cat. of Mariah's cats when she calls them. You know, I would I have just either. laughed if, if the cat just walked up onto, like, the cat. Please. And just poked their head up. Please. Like, please jump in front of the camera. Like, just put your face all over the camera. What is up, everybody? Mystery Grill here. Hi. Welcome to our first ever game review. I'm going to do this probably once a month. Uh, there will be different guests along with it. But today we have Dread Mage. Hi! I'm the one sitting in the dark. <laughs> we have Super. I'm the one pretending to be an assassin. Apparently. And we have, um, I don't know your channel yet, Ian, so... Uh, the, the, the Dragon King 564. I've popped into your, uh, live stream that's a couple right, times. That's right, that's right. It's Dragon King. I will leave all their... All of their channels in the description below, so check them out. Um, All right, well, so I'm, I'm the one without the face cam. <laughs> he has a good reason for it. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, today we are doing a game review, which will pop up. It could be either recent, childhood, any type of console or whatever platform we choose. So we're going to go ahead and start with today's episode being PC. Which is any type of game from past or present, our f top five games in PC-wise. No, I was just about to change my list up a bit. I was just about to change my list up a bit to add some Nintendo games, and then I'm like, wait a minute, it's just PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mystery's the only person who prepared. She didn't actually tell yeah. us what we were, we, we, we were going to be doing. I, kind the of next month, I will well, make more. Down the, down the list. <laughs> yeah, I'm completely sprung this up, idea on accident up, but yeah the game reviews my, uh, will be once a account. month uh, hey. but yeah gaming reviews will be once a month and we will it's gonna be like a roundabout table like we're discussing it like like best buddies do around a table or something like that sound good uh coolio i'm down <laughs> let me finish writing i only have one, oh, i need done. to just add I'm one done. more no. thing i need two I'm more good. Good. I just need, let me pull up my Steam library real quick. <laughs> yeah, you know that's what, what that I've was, been doing. That was literally the very first thing I did. And my mic goes crap. <laughs> Disconnected. Yeah, don't worry, we can still hear you. We can still hear you. Oh, well, no, it okay. just disconnected. I just, just, had, a, I just had a better it. idea. Um, All right, I finished. Oh no, for for one of the games, um, I. I had I had one I had one particular game that I'm like wait a minute I'm looking at, at this again it's like oh yeah I like that better <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's we'll kind of what I did when we'll I was go with um, my fifth favorite game and we can all discuss about the game if we've ever played it before like our opinions of it but number five for me has to be Hearthstone I now I know that. because even though it's mobile. It's mostly PC for me, so... It, it started off as PC, so... Yeah, so yeah. technically it's still a PC game. So I will... I, Hearthstone is my number five. Oh, the I reason why it's... it's... Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the only reason why it's at the bottom more is because it does get a little repetitive every now and then. And it... Card game. It, what else is there supposed to... Is it, what is there that you're supposed to the do? The problem <laughs> is I don't have many people to play with. <laughs> Uh, well, you still have to add me because I because I still need to crush you and Super. Oh, well. yeah. Plus, like, yeah. Plus, I'm almost always beating Mariah. Oh, screw you! I beat you. I think you won times. twice against me. Oh, I saw that. Anyway, I think you've only won twice against me. Oh, I'll screw that, times. Dread. Have you played Hearthstone before? No. <laughs> um, you so, know. So you're, so you're the I'm one that, that, you're the one who avoided that. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying well, to avoid it after the after like the arguments in the chat. Open the game. I'm just like, no. Nope. Okay, we convinced him to not play. <laughs> One less person. Well, if any it. of you who don't know yep. what Hearthstone is, uh, the recent game that came out, Overwatch, which is on three different platforms, which is that game is PC, beautiful. Another, another, another and game I, Xbox I love. One. I know. I want that game so bad. But yeah, I, Overwatch. I own it, but my but my my uh, laptop like di dies when I try to run it. It just like. That's why I'm getting it for PS4 because I don't know if my PC will run it, but. Hey, Xbox. Uh, it, it, that's the thing, though, is it can run it. 
It's just there's there's lag, and uh, so so it makes it very hard to play the game. So while I have it, I could play it. I I am gonna save and um, I'm gonna save it for myself until I manage to get myself a more powerful PC. Yeah, for me, I'm just gonna wait until next month when I do have the money for for the PS4 version. But yeah, if you guys, the only reason we're talking about Overwatch a little bit is because the same company, Blizzard, that made Overwatch, uh, has so made. We love you. It has made like World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, and Diablo. Don't forget StarCraft. That too. Oh, I think my dad played wonderful. that. I think my dad has played that a couple times, but. That's... So I, I, I kid you not, the very first two games I ever played on the PC or in general were Diablo and StarCraft. When that I was like, when I was like nine or ten years old. <laughs> My dad got got me addicted to Diablo and it's more like a casual game to me, even though most people can World of Warcraft and StarCraft. I've well, been we'll, we'll recently speaking because of Diablo, the new... actually. Recently speaking because speaking... Wait. You continue your thought. My bad. Yeah, no, worries, no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, speaking of Diablo, that's a, that's actually, um, the Diablo series is actually on my top five PC games. <laughs> yeah, it, it's up there in my list, too. But I've been recently wanting to try World of Warcraft because of the new movie oh, coming out, wow. and I want to... Mm. Because of that new movie coming out, I'm like, I've, maybe I should see what it's about before I've I watch the movie. I've tried it a couple times. And unless you have someone to play with, it gets incredibly repetitive very, very, very quickly. Unless you're really good, unless you're really into MMOs and RPGs. Mm, and 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 uh, and for me, what MMOs, is with this? What is with this, Dread? What this guy? Cause he, cause he the MMO the RPG. I know, same right here. here. Yeah. But, I'm um, not exactly it, sure what gaming category is my favorite or my specific pick. Like my, like right now, we're doing time, PCs. My all time favorite. My all time favorite. Um. Wait, game, wait, game, no, no, game, no, no, like, no, no, you gotta save that for last. Save that for last. No, 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 I'm, I'm talking about genre. Ah. My all-time favorite yeah, game genre, genre is, uh, is, like, a Metroidvania. Like, I love Met- Metroidvania games. They're big, they're expansive. It, it forces you to go back and explore things that you might not have, that you might have missed. That actually, oh, I don't... hello. Hello. Hello, Nox. Oh, oh, there's Nox. This is not the call I wanted to join. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the game review right now, Knox, if you want to join us. I apologize for this. So, Knox, Who's everybody. Dying? <laughs> Who's dying? Who's it's dying over? A, ra- okay, a, so, random uh, Nox, a random Nox has appeared. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, like... Uh, but, so there it goes good. Football. Yeah, so far we're just reviewing our top five PC games. That's the episode for uh, today. Oh, okay. That's good. Pick yeah, so, up, by the way. And we were just on mine, <laughs> and we were just rambling about Blizzard. But yeah, my number five oh. has to be has to be Hearthstone because of the way it. I like the graphics of it, and I like the style of it. That's that's basically why it's my number five. That's my well, I know I know a lot of people have been talking about it, and I don't know if it's going to be a legitimate thing, but th- there have been rumors for a very 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 long period of time. About um, Blizzard eventually releasing another class, the Death Knight class. Ooh. For Hearthstone? For Hearthstone, yeah. And, and, I, and I really think that that could be a really cool class. If they, if I think they that's going to be a big popular one, yeah. Okay. But the, but the thing is, is, is it's, 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 at, the, at this point, it's just a rumor. So. Dread, quit doing that! I'm sorry! Okay, well, right, Dread, well, you're, Dread, you're, is... Dread, you're next. What's your top? What's your number five on PC game? My number five is redundantly uh, World of Warcraft, just because uh, just because there's ga- games higher than it. Really, um, I, as I've said before, is I'm a big MMORPG guy. I, I am a big R- here for MMORPG hours. girl, and I've never played World of Warcraft. And now everybody in the comments is gonna be like, "Why don't you play it? You gotta play it!" Bro! And like attack me. It's like, I'm sorry, okay? Well, it now, just never now I'm going to now I'm gonna have to go post that just to make it true. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 you're not. It has to happen. Yeah, it, it must. Out. Anyway, oh, yeah, so it must be done. So what, anyway. made it, what made it your number five beside it being a little it underrated? Made it, it made it number five. It's just because there's, I have a lot of other games that are so much worse than it. <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be totally honest. Um, I love WoW with all of my heart. Like, 
as you say, as Ian said, I believe, it does get decently repetitive. Without anyone to play with. Definitely. Without anyone to play with. But me and my brothers, we all play. Well, that's so, nice. At least you got like a family together. member who is willing to play well, that with you. <laughs> it can be good. It can be a. It can be a blessing. It can be a curse. Depends on which family member. But I, I'm, uh, actually, I'm actually um, debating about getting into it myself. But um, I've got I've got same a, here. A, a, I've got a few people who um, who you guys might know. Like there's a uh, Kathy um, from the SGA, Kathy Dangerous, mm. um, who I might be playing um, some World of Warcraft with. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I'm thinking of doing a video of my first impressions of WoW, because I've never played it, so... If you ever need first another person... going to be WoW. That's if I want to buy the game, though, too. God! No! Bad what? jokes! Okay, we're done. Okay, so right. Super is um, next. Super is next. Well, I, I, just, I, just wanted, I just wanted to point, point one thing out while we're still talking. I've been sitting here the entire time browsing funny things on my phone. Oh my yeah, well, god. I, I just, I just, I just no wanted attention. To... Get off the phone, dang it. Okay, no. I just wanted so, to... Wait, while, while we were still talking about the MMO, though, um, I just wanted to point out that there are two MMOs that I play that I th think are leagues better than World of Warcraft, just because just I, I don't feel the repetitive grind of it. And um, one of those is uh, Guild Wars 2. I never played it. Played it. Guild never Wars 2 is it. so much fun. It, you be, like... Other than the fact that you can't access like the marketplace to sell items and, and get items that you yeah. want, and only have like two base characters, you get the entire game for free. No, that actually is not that bad. And if That's, you wanted I that like extra, and if you wanted that extra stuff, you could get that and the expansion, sixty bucks, one time payment, done. Wow. No, no subscription fees, nothing. And two. I wish. I wish Final Fantasy did that. I, I know, wish yeah. they did that. I hate. That. I think I would actually try Final Fantasy XIV if it did that. We much. did, and then we ended up having to have a subscription after paying twenty bucks for the game, and it's like, what the heck? We oh, can't yeah. afford a subscription on top of paying for the game. We oh, barely yeah, no, could no. afford the game. <laughs> but then the second. I don't know about you guys. I didn't even. I didn't even buy the game. I just got the free I trial. Didn't, I didn't buy the game either. I was just like, I, I saw that. I, I heard there was a subscription fee. I'm like, right. fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right, so right. super. And, oh, okay, sorry, no, there, before there we get off one. topic now, uh, super, you are animation. next with uh, your okay. number five. Okay, my number five, Chroma Squad. Never it, heard of that. Yeah, at all. Uh, it's a tactical RPG that kind of parodies, um, you know, Power Rangers, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's basically oh, yeah. video game that. It's basically really? video game that. Except okay, that it's wonderful. Wonderful. really good. It act and it's actually very self-aware too, which is something I just love. Ooh, that's Ooh. that's always fun in a series, and I actually I actually think I might enjoy something like that because uh, my number two game is very similar to that as well, but in a very different plus way. Get, plus, I mean, in order to get all the achievements, you need to play the game like three times, and it and it took me a good so so it forces so it basically it forces you to want to replay it to get all the achievements. Yeah. Yeah. If you're Plus, there's two hunter. achievements that's based on a specific character that you really um, need to know the reference or get stupidly lucky. That's a good it. point. That's a good point. I, you can I probably guess that. which one I was in. You can probably guess how I got the achievement. I don't want to know. <laughs> really lucky? Stupidly lucky. Probably lucky. Okay, Ian, you are next. What is your number five? All right, um, I might get some hate in the comments for this, but my number five is actually the Bioshock series. Really? I've yeah, my... heard... I've seen Taboo play it. I think I've seen uh, a YouTuber called Ghost Robo play it, but I've never really played it myself. I could never I really understand that. I adored Bioshock so much. I loved the atmosphere. I loved the universe. It was just that it was so all encompassing, and it was just so, it was just so well made. But the, but like the reason I said I'm probably gonna get a bunch of hate for this is because it's my number five and not my like number two or one because it's like Bioshock is like amazing, and I still haven't beaten mo um, e any of them. I own them all, but um, I've no, I've I've gotten really darn close with Bioshock 2. But the original copy I had of it was on CD, and the CD started crashing. Ooh. And it was like also it was also a uh, on like the Windows Live game thing back when it, that still existed. Ooh, that makes well, sense. That but, makes but sense. That doesn't that doesn't exist anymore. So now it crashes every time I try to run it. So I have to rebuy it on Steam. Oh. Oh, you, but, gotta uh, you gotta love how old games crash on you. 
after oh, so well, long I, I played them. I, uh, I adore the universe in Bioshock. I love how it gives you, like, while they're not very big moral choices, they still it still gives you that moral choice between, like, do, do I save the little sister? Do I kill the little sister? And, and like, kind of like, there's kind of like, each one. For anybody who doesn't know what the Bioshock series is about, that sounds really dark. Is that, are you been living under a, if you're a gamer, you've been living under a rock. Yeah, well, well I've Bioshock, heard of Bioshock, so, like, but I've never be... played it, if that makes sense. Well, yeah, I know everybody no, well, in the comments every, yeah, everyone, know Everyone's, that everyone's heard of it, but the thing is, is Bioshock is huge. Bioshock is, like, massive. People absolutely adore that yeah. series, that's why I was afraid of getting hate in the comments for saying it was okay. going to buy. Okay, I have a question, though, and I might get a lot of hate for this question, but oh, yeah? is Bioshock kind of like Fallout? Mm, not really. That, that's really. just there, that's there are, just my only question there, there are, on it because of the there engine. are parallels in the whole like like a post apocalyptic esque feel to it because like well in Bioshock it's it's always um, in Bioshock one and two the um, the post apocalyptic feel was just in the area that you were that you played the game in not the entire world it still had that like dead feel to it but that that you get from like post apocalyptic stuff okay yeah that, that's about, yeah that's the only question I had about it, because the way it sounded, it sounded like it was coming from Fallout or something like that. But I'm glad oh, they're, well, like, they're, they're, big differences. No, there are, very, there are very huge differences. In fact, I'd say, a, out of any anything, uh, Fallout is more, is more is more of a copy to Bioshock than Bioshock is a copy to Fallout, because Bioshock's Ooh. older. Oh! Burn! <laughs> For and I'm gonna get so much, and I'm gonna get so much hate from Fallout fanboys and the, um, from that, but or whatever. fan girls, or fan girls, we're not sexist. No, yeah, right, you're gonna get right. a lot of hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want anyone coming in and like those girls do. <laughs> yeah, I'm Fallout the only girl in the chat right now. Fallout boy is gonna really I, hate I'm you. I'm not after really this. offended by it because <laughs> I don't really. Really stupid. Fallout boy. Fallout boy, I get it. Yeah, so next. Fallout boy though. Yeah, actually, you made a funny joke. All right, so Nax, what is your number five talking? PC game? Five Nights at Freddy's. Five oh, Nights at yes. Freddy's? What? Yes. How did that reach like your it. number five? That's like uh, my number 100. That's my number <laughs> Okay, no, I, yeah, I, I, okay, I love, we're not going to go any further because Game 3 cause is done. Too many people do Five Nights I, at Freddy's. I've never personally played it, but I have seen the gameplay of it. I uh, don't well, personally only want to play it at all. You want to see my reaction to number four. It's on my channel. You don't want to know, Nax. You don't want to know. Go, super. I spent a, I, I literally spent a week and a half editing oh boy. Um, all, all eight of the videos into, into a reaction compilation video. I spent eight. Wow. I spent a week and a half making that video. That, that, that was that was one of my most heavily edited videos I've ever done. It was worth it because people loved it. It was great. That's that's great. Okay, so we're now into number four. My number. four... Four, I think people are getting it a little weary. Um, my number four has to be Diablo three. I, I love the Diablo series. In I just love how the graphic design it does look like it's from the two, early two thousands. But I love the dialogue. I love the story. It's very interactive stuff like that. So. Well, you know what. At first, I look over I had, at Diablo 3 sitting on my Xbox right now. At, at first, oh, you got I the had, Xbox 3 version? I had so yep. many problems with Diablo 3, but it was only because it was always online, and I would always like be, be in the middle of like this side quest cave or something like that just to get some more loot, and it would crash. Oh, would, like, I hate like, that. And it, yeah, and you can go offline that. with that game, which is nice, but the online well, yeah, part is just can. for fun. Now, now, All right. you, now you can... Um, Played offline, but and there's a lot more features to it, which I think is good. But it it shouldn't have been a problem to begin with. Again, you never know with the developers; they're trying to get a game out as quick as possible. Oh, stuff oh, like absolutely. that. Oh, absolutely. But but though they had years to de develop Diablo three, but um, after Diablo two, II. Diablo two is is pretty old now. I never played Diablo two. The only reason I know of Diablo three is because my dad. So. I I played okay. all three Diablo games. <laughs> Okay, so that is my number four. Dread, what is your number Yo, four? My number four is Star Wars The Old Republic, which God is... Damn it. That's actually on my Thank channel, too. Th but, that is uh, on my channel, too, because you I love that game so much. are trying to be my teacher, and then you skip ahead of me still, and don't... By the way, I'm level... 
I'm gonna I think kill I you! I'm gonna kill you! Because I'm trying to keep the story for the channel, and you're not letting me do that! I know. I haven't actually d touched that character. I made, like, six others, but that's not important. Um... <laughs> Max, how much he loves the game! You made, like, seven characters! <laughs> yeah, I wonder how much I like the game there. But, me and my friends, we all play it together, and I'm a Star Wars geek. Let's be so I'm gonna be to perfectly totally honest here. Okay, you know what? Who? Okay, let, let's be honest. Who here isn't a Star Wars geek? I have fake tattoos of Star Wars. I'm so I, I'm sorry. Um, I have to I have to say I, I'm not really a I, big fan of Star Wars, Wars but I like the game. I, yes. I adore Star I adore Star Wars. I, I'm so excited for the for Rogue One, but I know. That's besides the point. But that's besides oh. the point. Dread, go on. Okay. Anyway, but uh, I enjoy. The gameplay itself, because another thing, MMORPG, I'm also really good at button mashing 1 through 9 on my keyboard. <laughs> that makes nine. perfect sense. It's kind of like either uh, a couple of MMOs I've played or whatever yeah. MMOs you've ever played. But Button mashing is always a guarantee, to be honest. Yeah. And the, the uh, character customization options that are given to you at the beginning of the game, you can make the character look any way you want to. You can... Basically, kind of screw like with pretty much everything. Yeah, it's The Sims except first can be first person and Star Wars, okay. uh, and MMORPG, MMORPG style, and like the character like subclasses and everything and like the different variation you can use is just wonderful. And actually, what I yeah, like is you like, can choose like... which way you want to go, like dark yeah. side or. The light. Yeah, well, but the, the whole the whole thing is though the thing that bothers me is though though is that. The diff there's four different classes and yep. but th that's the thing though is down when you get down to it that's it there's four classes if you go to uh, to uh, the light side and the um, and the republic that it's um four classes and then if you go to the dark side it's four yep. it's four reskinned of the same class but what I love is that. the fact that in there each class has two ways it can go. All of which are different from the others. They're not palette, pretty much palette swaps of the other. And then each one of those two have three different options that you can choose. Fair enough. We, I, I will give you that. That yeah, there there are there are like the the um the differentiations um when you go to the advanced classes. But like I don't know. I never. I could never get into Star Wars: The Old Republic. Well, you it's choose just... your advanced class. Okay, so. Let's get off of the Star Wars thing before we get angry comments again. So... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Can I just say something? Yeah, sure, uh, Nax. You You've been quiet something? this whole time. I know. I am not usually as quiet. But <laughs> on Star Wars, you said you could choose dark side and light side, right? Or something. Whatever. Light yeah, depends side on your choices depending on what you say, too. Yeah. So I have... I, I remembered... That reminded me of Transformers War of Cybertron. <laughs> what? It's, 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 you could be. <laughs> oh my gosh, that game! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm oh just no, the like, what's going on? Sad. <laughs> I'm just sitting here with a blank face thinking, what's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so let's go on to oh. let's go on to Super's number four. Random comment uh, aside. So number four was the only one I actually had trouble deciding, and I've honestly been switching it throughout this entire recording mm -hmm. so far. <laughs> that makes Probably sense. Tell. Just say both of them. Just say both of them and be done with it. Actually, it's three. So um. God, love of God. Like, oh my. It's uh, honestly, I'm tied between Enter the Gungeon and Tabletop Simulator. Okay, Enter the Gungeon, I know, is a recent one from Steam about a couple months ago it was released. Well, yeah, that, 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 that game got a lot of traction when it came out um, because, like, Mark I haven't Blyer heard of it since, so I don't know. That. Oh, no, the, uh, the big the big YouTubers like Mark and uh, Jack, and, like, they all picked it up and they all, like, they all did a few, uh, few games uh, or a few videos on it, but um, not much came of it. It's kind of like what they did with the honey cam uh, yeah, studio. To be honest, but... I didn't even know that video. All I know is that just a wave of videos came out and that my video could have done a lot better. This is me being salty. If there weren't so many hype videos coming from at least two months before the game was actually out, that just well, killed the hype. 
though, I mean, in and of itself. That does happen. Them more, but they killed, like, the, the lust of for it. Uh, the, also though, that, to, and I hate to say this, and I'm sorry to say this, Super, but your camcorder made it, like, your recording thing made it really laggy, and I could barely tell what was going on. Oh, yeah, I know. I I yeah, I, and, and I know. That's pretty, much, that's pretty much a summary of all my videos. Incredibly oh. laggy, low quality sh piles of shite. <laughs> well, and and <laughs> to and to be fair, the words. the the biggest the biggest um thing that you always need to worry about when uploading a video, especially if there's a lot of hype to it, is making sure to add as many keywords that fit your thing that fit your video as possible. I I I kid I kid you not. I'll type in um, like let's play um, one without the apostrophe and one with the apostrophe, and then I'll type the, the, the word all the words separately. Oh my gosh! J j just to like cover as much of the key Super? of the, um, of what the, the search heck? engine. It, it's it's just it's just, a, it's just it's just to cover as much of the uh, search engine as I possibly can. It's something I've well, I've, I've picked for up for me. For me, I when Uncharted Four came out, and that's a PS4 game. Uh, I was live streaming it and. My minutes went up, shot up, because I was live streaming that. And I actually completed the game, so. Well, yeah, you completed it before a lot of the big tubers actually um, started started uh, uh, using it and, and, like, playing it and stuff. You, you well, actually managed to finish it, um, like, just as, like, PewDiePie uh, started playing it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, like... Let there be light for dread. Wait, what? Oh, I oh. see a person. Oh, okay. The light, it burns! <laughs> okay, that's but enough of that. Anyways, that's enough. Yeah. Right. But yeah, I like, I, like I said, off, again, yeah. like when you overhype a game and then you make a video of it, it, it I don't it, it's know. Ve it's, oh. very, it's very hard. Hi, Dreads, Mom. Some... Hey, are we ever going to get to the other thing I said? Yeah, let's get to uh, the other thing because... Yeah. Tabletop we're Simulator. Random. I've never heard of that that's... game. That that's actually really fun. I see a cat. Like, oh hey, there's a cat. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, stop. We're talking about my thing now. Let's not make this into the Skype chat where I'm well, constantly ignored. Let's do this uh, noob. Anyways, um, tables up somewhere. What I like is how much you can actually do in the game. If you have seen the community for the workshop, it is amazing. Like legitimately, the amount of things that you. But can find on there is amazing from just it's things getting ready game. to of, of course, like, uh, of course like from portal monopoly to like incredibly unique creations it's just amazing it's, it's and the like, community is so friendly too yeah i'm just just saying though it's a, it's a simulator game of course there's going to be tons of modders who can done do tons of stuff with it like it's just that's just yeah but that's what it's meant to do it's like oh there's legitimately look, look, look at that look at that Doing laundry with Dread Mage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a picture there, like technical difficulties kind of thing, just to make it easier for him. Be yeah, nice no worries. Me. But um, all right. Yeah, but, yeah, no, that, that, that's, def that's definitely that's definitely kind of cool. Um, it sounds it sounds very interesting, but I don't think I could get into it just because like I've only just recently started getting into any form of like tabletop games. Like I've I I actually since since we uh. Did that uh, D and D stuff? I actually started do doing some um, D, D and D with some other uh, YouTubers and, and uh, the, some of the stream family that that I go to the I stream, know. like uh, So Hanky stream yeah. and Wes's stream. We we all yeah, get. Yeah, I, uh, I do. I have followed So Hanky uh, and I have followed uh, Laser Corn. I don't really watch the streams because it just gets overpacked. Actually, it's not too bad. As long um, like if you if you go in there often enough, it, it really isn't that bad on their like personal Twitch streams. Stupid cat. Um, uh, yeah, Dread. I I said I'm gonna I'm gonna block your screen for a little while because your mom was in it and I don't want to be uh, mean to her. So. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I haven't touched D and D at all since we did it. I know. Because like I said, I have to nobody record. wants I have to, to do it. it like near where I live. I don't know anybody who wants to do it. And I, I, okay, okay, Ian. Ian, you were on your number four, right? Or were we still I, talking I, I, super? He, he was. We were talking about um, the tabletop simulator thing. That's I haven't started my number four yet. Why would uh, you put the cat in front of the camera? Yeah, anyways, my fuzzy uh, little buddy. My my number four, and once again, I, I might get some uh, hate for this. It's the uh, Dark Souls series, and 
Actually, you're not going to get a lot of hate for that. Because... Well, no, but that, that's that. Uh, but it's number four. I've got it below three other uh, three other titles. Remember that. Oh, that's right. The hate on that one. I'll, but I'll, this be, is a uh, I'll be right back. Point. Oh no, that, yeah, this that. is definitely very I'll personal. I'll split like I, what I did with Dread. I uh, I love the Dark Souls series. Like, despite the fact that every step of the way it kicks you in the ass. <laughs> um, well, for me, you learn to love it. Well, for oh, yeah, me, exactly. it's like I played a little bit of the uh, Bloodborne, and what I yeah, noticed I play- is like anyone who Bloodborne. is more into hardcore type of stuff, Dark Souls is the way to go. I've never played yeah, one through three, so I, that's why I never took, I, uh, I never picked I up Dark, three. I, I never three recorded three. I never recorded three because I'm like, okay, there's so many YouTubers that are like recording it right now, but the problem is I've never played one and two, so I can't say anything. Um, but yeah, no, I, um, I own Dark Souls 1 Prepare to Die Edition on Steam, and my, uh, and I sometimes, and I've played Bloodborne once or twice on my, uh, brother's PS4. Yeah, because um, I think that was the only PS4 exclusives from the, from the Yeah, exactly. Company. But, um, I, I, I enjoy the games because it doesn't care about, like, the the whole like oh you 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 want you want a tutorial here have a gigantic boss that crushes you <laughs> yes I, I love I love how I love how it, I love how it the, just throws you in and go here you figure it out yourself and you have well, to but, keep but, dying in order to figure out your mistakes yeah. but what, one what through also, nine button mash anyway that's but, uh, but what I, uh that's what, the what, key I, what I really what I also really enjoy about it is the fact that deviates from the uh, societal norms of video games. All video games have to have a proper tutorial to teach you how to play the game nowadays. I know. But Dark Souls says, to hell with that noise, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> and I think that's what I liked about Uncharted 4 was it was more subtle. Pew, 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 pew. Alright, so <laughs> Nax, you're number four. Nax is turn, yeah, number four. Pew, 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 pew. Nax, what was your Who's number four? Oh, me, okay, sorry. I, I had to get my charger for my computer because <laughs> it was running low on battery. Is this why I, did I have a notice. desktop now? I have a desktop, I'm happy. Oh, I, I've, still, I've still got a laptop, but, I, but I've got a second screen now, so. Good so, my problem is up. my uh, my uh, laptop was about to die when I bought my desktop, so. <laughs> well, I, I, still I got rid of, I, got, I removed desktop. my second monitor and put it over there. Can really? I my Xbox. I connected it to my Xbox because it's a 32 anyway, inch TV. Anyways, next. Nice. Go ahead. Mm, okay. Um, Final Fantasy 2. Which one? What? Two. Wait, say that again. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. What is the Five <laughs> Nights at Freddy's in your. How much you want to bet that number three is going to be number is Five Nights at Freddy's three, number four is going to be Five Nights at Freddy's four. You are and, so wrong. And, no. You have no, got to watch. You'll of see course, it. this You'll is see. what I come back to. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got food. Uh, well, to, of course, to, to, I to, be have on, food. to be honest, I've never I uh, own number two, but I haven't actually gotten into it. I've only beaten number four, and I've made I have it never to played any of the Five Nights at Freddy's one. games. I I have uh, never played it. I played the what, demo what, for one. Can, what? Is, can, how did you, watch, you like it? You can watch me scream like a little girl watch, um, while playing number four on my channel. <laughs> You're just like no more pop. I actually want to play all of the Five Nights at Freddy's for my um, channel. It's something I've been working on like two, for like two days already. I have all the franchise, and I want to play um, the Joy of Creation also, which Joy is really Creation good. Reborn. Do Joy of Creation Reborn, the, the free roam. That's amazing. I love it. Yeah, I've, never, I've never yeah, played I saw it. Your video I've it. seen it, but I've never played it. I am. Um, I... Unfortunately, I have issues when I try to switch to uh, Bonnie Chica or Foxy, because yeah. my computer, because my computer like dies on the inside when I try to run yeah, them. So um, that's fun. So unfortunately, until I upgrade my PC, I need to delay doing another Joy of Creation Reborn video. However, I absolutely adored um, edit like recording and editing um, against Freddy. It was fun. It was really fun. Yeah, it, it was actually, fun. It, and it keeps you really on your toes because like if, if yeah you, i've, I've if heard you about that maybe second, i should maybe i should play it even though i've never played the five nights at freddy games but well, i you don't, have you don't, you don't have to play the five nights at freddy's game because the goal the goal of um joy of creation reborn is more slender-esque you need to find Ooh. objects bef- before um before the animatronic that you've selected murders your face that actually makes sense 
Okay, so and now we're on to number three, so we don't get into the whole esque of other de games. Debacle of that, yeah. <sighs> number three for me would have to be. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get any flack for this game. Um, I'm trying to think what number three was that I put in my head. It has yeah, to. Down. It has to be Brawlhalla. It has to be Brawlhalla, Ooh. even though I haven't touched That's the game fun. in okay. about a month. I still I, have I it in number three. I haven't played in a couple months, but I uh, but I do really enjoy playing that game. It's lots of fun. Yeah, yeah like even though while, even though they, they did it like a Super Smash kind of thing, but they well, did but it they, because they, they, they did, created they did, a whole new roster for it. Well, not only mm -hmm. that, but they they made it unique in its own way. Like Super Smash Brothers, people would play it even if it didn't have a lot of the, a lot of the items or anything in it, just because it's. Nintendo characters. It's the it's the nostalgia factor they're playing off of with Smash Bros. With Brawlhalla, they had to come up with a unique uh, spin to it to sell to sell their new characters. Like they they just created. And I'm su I'm surprised and none of the big YouTubers have ever gotten um never picked up on it. I think a lot of the big YouTubers try to stay away from free to play games a lot of the time unless they're browser based or, or unless they get a lot of a hype to them just because like that then then the game could be very could turn into something very different that is actually true so but we have played a lot of videos of Brahalla. i have, i even have it on my channel uh, no, uh, like next, up next until time, recently it was that, very uh, laggy next, but... next time you you guys do that let me know cuz i want to i have it in my steam library but i've never actually played it Oh, I, I, I actually, have played uh, it. I actually was playing it so, uh, so much at one point. I actually, I actually bought all the, all the characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yeah, number um, three I, has to be Brawlhalla. I know I'm gonna get flack from Tech Stomper and a couple other of our buddies. So. Stomper's gonna wreck your face for that. <laughs> all right, Dread. What is your number three? My number three is actually XCOM Enemy Within. Oh yeah, you've so, done a couple of XCOM videos. I, I need to. Oh, oh, Jesus, I need to edit. But, um... <laughs> you gotta edit so much anymore. I need to edit so much now. Um, well, yeah, no, I, I've, got, I've got a lot to edit as well, but the, the, the game that I need to edit, um, Danganronpa 2, I, is not on my list, so... So, I, uh, I love the style of game of XCOM. The top-down military strategy where you have to balance multiple things. Starcraft. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I actually just left that one off my list just because it's like number like six, just because it pisses me off so much. Start off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, and and recently, XCOM 2. Didn't that, that come out this year, too? Yeah, XCOM, XCOM 2 did come out recently. I didn't actually buy it because I knew my friend would want me to get something later in the year and then I would be broke then, too. So, you know. Um, <laughs> Better to have some money. Feels of being broke. So, I the enemy within, We're all broke. It's, it's got a cool, like, it's the whole humans defend the first, middle, and last line of defense against. And is I think one of the only reasons I love it so much is because it's like, one, you can customize the characters' names and whatnot, so you can put in your friends, and or, and, or I guess I could use co-workers. Uh, like, Names and then weep manly tears as they die on the field of battle. <laughs> I, or it could be like your enemy and worse. In, yeah, if your worst enemy, you just throw them, them in the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my God, I see that happen. Who plays too many games now? Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> but, um, Moving on. And like, and there's so much option, and then obviously, you just get to watch aliens blow up. Okay, so no, why no, is it not in your number two or your number one spot? That's my question. Since it's your number three. Because no, nostalgia. Number two is nostalgia and a game I, I just absolutely adored when I was younger. And that totally should come back, but probably won't. And then number one is the game that opened me up to that kind of, that, I guess, that genre of video game. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, okay, Super, what is your number three? Also, I'm gonna put in real quick to fill in his chewing. While you guys have been talking, I've been writing a story. I've just been writing. <laughs> Wait, you write stories too? Yeah. I write songs. I don't write stories. Okay. Uh, a romantic story I make, I make about two characters I, I made up. 
Oh Make gosh, I'm super! Wrong can now. we get to number three? Let's not talk about the okay. Story. Number three, Half Minute Hero series. Half Minute Hero. I've never heard of them. You want me to say the names? No. You want me to say the names uh -oh. of the games? Here it comes. Half Minute sure. Hero, Super Mega Neo Climax Ultimate Boy, and the Second Coming. I've never heard of this game. I've never heard of them though. I've never heard of them. Is it like this amazingly long name and this second coming? <laughs> what, what I liked about it was, was was all the sexual sexual innuendos in this. <laughs> I'm gonna pound yeah. my head in my bed. Have you actually point. played the game? No. Nope. I just I'm I, I, to... meant when, when I, when I, I, I I know it. I've I've watched a playthrough of it. When I said that, I meant the sexual innuendos in the title, not, not the game. Oh, gosh. Okay, so, uh, Dragon, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Wait, I was wondering oh, what wait, the heck was I, going I was on, because to... I couldn't barely hear you. Oh, I was my, gonna my, get... my mic is kind of weird. It kind of kind of goes in and out sometimes. Cause it's a piece Dread, of stop! And also, Dread makes a lot of noise. <laughs> okay, so, Dragon, what is your number uh, three? My number three is the Diablo series, actually. Really? So yours is above I, mine a little bit. Well, but the reason for this is nostalgia. Diablo 1 was the very first video game I have ever played in my life. Outside of those, like, kitty games that you get as, like, a, like a five-year-old. Um, but Diablo, the Diablo franchise has always been a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the Diablo franchise has always been a near and dear thing in, in my family because not only do I play it, my entire family plays it. My brother plays it, my wow. mom plays it, my dad plays it. So it's like a family game. Kind of yeah, like with, well, it, what we, me and my dad bonded over Diablo. So. Yeah, my, uh, my parents, um, back when it came to X, the Xbox um, 360, um, they actually bought it for me for my birthday, and we actually have a family file going where all four of us play together on the Xbox. Oh no, that is cute! I love that. Yeah, it is. It it, it really it really is one. It, it, it like, well, it started my my love of video games really is Diablo. I, um, the the game it was the was the very first game I ever played, and it still holds a special place in my heart for it. Well, that is so sweet. I, I, I think your parents would be proud to say that you. Oh no, no, they, they, they hate the fact that I'm addicted to video games now. <laughs> <laughs> That's their fault. Okay, next, what is your number three? I know it's a pretty four. Wow! Oh, darn it! Oh, 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 to be fair, I actually really enjoy Five Nights at Freddy's 4 as well. It, it just didn't make my, my top five, five, but it would definitely... Five Nights at Freddy's Again. did not make my top five, but it definitely would make my top ten. I, I, I despite that makes despite sense. how much despite how much I screamed like a little girl playing playing on Five Nights at Freddy's 4 on my channel, uh, I I actually really enjoyed the game. It was very... It, for an indie game where... With very, let's be honest, it's a very basic game. But yeah, perhaps, it's just basically we, point and click, like, okay, well, I gotta check this, yeah, exactly. this, 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 but, this. But, like, for such a basic game, the amount of depth that he, that the creator, Scott Coffin, snuck into that game, as well as the, um, as the, the sheer, the sheer amount of, of excitement that you get when you, when you beat a single knight in that game, like, it can't, it can't be beat. Yeah, like, I remember one YouTuber played, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and he beat it. And he goes, $120? Crap, I'm going to spend all that on tea! Super, what are, what are you doing? I don't know what the heck he's doing. Okay, but no, I... Uh, I'm just going to keep writing. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, I definitely very much enjoyed Five Nights at Freddy's 4, despite the fact that it scared the, it scared the bejesus out of me when I played it on my channel. Okay. But um, it was fun, and, and people enjoyed watching me play it. Like I, th I think I think that was day... the start of your channel. Like basically, because no, you've got more subs no. than I do. I've got I've got 110 subs now. I I've just got actually. I've got 62. I um I, got 63. I actually actually to be to be honest, I just like since since I was doing a five nights of, uh, since I was doing a 100 sub giveaway, um I actually just did the drawing for that right now. 
I don't know why that video is, is saying that there's no thumbnail for it, but screw you. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, uh, my, my, the very, the very early on, my, vi my videos uh, were Hearthstone. I did, har I did a lot of Hearthstone videos very early on, and it wasn't until I started doing the Five Nights at Freddy's that I uh, series that I decided I was going to take my channel in a different direction. Instead of being very broad, I narrowed it down to the anime games and horror games with the anime reviews added on now. But um, I decided to narrow it down because Five Nights at Freddy's uh, 4 and uh, Honey Pop were my most popular series on my uh, channel. Ah, that game. Why, why did you have Honey Pop on your game? Why? My friends, what? My no, friends honey, wanted honey me to do Honey Pop. Honey Pop is not I one, hope is not you one didn't do it. That I recommend. It's not, it's I, not in my top. I'm still thinking about it. Oh my god. Oh, who's watching my videos? <laughs> I, I heard. I That's heard what myself. I say every single time I'm in school. Whenever somebody uses a computer. <laughs> no, but no, but I, li I literally heard myself saying, and I and I'm playing Outlast. Oh, I have That's actually played Outlast. No, seriously, on my the system amount of PS4, people who watch my videos in my school is hey. irritating. Max, is that you watching my Outlast video? <laughs> no. Max. <laughs> Who's watching my last video? I heard it. I assure Ooh, you, all I'm doing is getting a refund. A refund of writing! Yay. Okay, no, I, um, so next. I, what is I your had a lot number of three? No, he said okay. it was Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're on the number two now. We're on the number two. We're losing track. Uh, number two for me will be Albino Hunter. It is an RPG. Uh, Perfect. Look on my channel! <laughs> Hashtag plug in Shire. <laughs> oh, bull crap. But yeah, on my channel, I haven't completed the game yet. Um, I know Armor has completed the game on his channel. And it is a very fun game. You don't, you don't get a lot of games where it's like, it's all about level, the equipment, and the story. That's basically it. And I love that kind of story because it's a little more open wide. Uh, the creator of Albino Hunters watches my channel just to see how I do with the videos on it. Really? But, yeah. Right. Cherry Sama, so, so she's I'll, really I'm, I'm nice. I'm assuming that it's a. I'm I'm assuming it's an indie game then. It's kind of an indie game. Yeah, it was like only five bucks. Okay, well then but, I, I classify it as an indie game then. <laughs> yeah, but for being five bucks, I'm having the most fun time in my life and that's why it's on my, it's on number two uh the number one i will reveal later but yeah that's my number two I, again i'm an rpg girl credit i play final fantasy on my channel for crying in the crack who wants to bet final fantasy is number one <coughs> no it's not actually it's pc games not playstation okay oh, right, yeah. so well, i guess there are, there are final fantasy games hi neighbors okay number my two. I don't know how many people will remember this game, but I'm gonna guess a lot. My number two is the old game Lego Universe from a oh, long time ago. Oh, I think I've seen away. a video on that, and it looks so cute. That game is old. Now. It's beautiful. I remember. Um, I'm gonna tell a quick story about the game before I talk a little bit about it. So I decided to play when I was super young when we only had one computer. We only had our desktop. Our old crappy desktop that just broke. And so I wound up getting stuck on one side of a bridge cause no, that you had to build and then nobody would build the other side so I couldn't get out. And so I, my older brother volunteered. I got up. He logged out of my account. He sat down at the computer, logged into his account, got a team of people to go to the bridge Logged out. He logged. I I switched seats with him. Logged back on, and they got me off. Wow. That's so. That's so funny. I just realized, uh, Mister, you're gonna have you're gonna have one hell of a time editing this. This is <laughs> this has been like an hour so far. Uh, it's it's, it's into fine. A this could, yeah, this is kind of like a podcast kind of thing I'm doing. Uh, but again, oh, okay. it's a discussion. Right. Again, it's a discussion. There will be a little nitpick. Any, anywho. Stuff. The Lego Universe, it's uh, the, the creative element of combining the Legos, the Lego MMORPG was a beautiful idea. And 
we also we also just relearned the reason why they shut down the game. It was for oh. censorship issues on private <laughs> properties. Censorship issues? Yeah. Like it's what? Right. It's a bunch of young men who can play with Legos online. What do you think's gonna show up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that okay. oh. Well, it was. Well, first, first of it all, fair on, enough. Okay. It was also on private properties, so no one could go unless they were invited. They're in, yeah, and they, and they lost. They that. lost so much money paying the moderator teams to stop them, and then eventually we just came up with creative ideas to pull it off. So like you lined up a few windows the right way at a different at a certain angle, and ta-da. <laughs> oh wow! I just one time one of I... my friends did that with parkour. Oh gosh! So, so I totally just so guys, I just totally logged on to the um, onto the YouTube um like homepage, and one of the first things I see in the recently uploaded is "Teaching is Hard: World of Warcraft" from Markiplier. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah again, that. the World of Warcraft thing that it, that's also uh, every, every, everyone's in on it now. Well, because the yeah. movie's coming out. Anyways, that movie uh, better I better be good, or someone's getting crucified. Anyway, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Blizzard's yeah, gonna super, get really your, your, a lot your, your of black with the movie isn't good. So, Super, oh, yeah. let's go ahead with your number Okay, two. so guys, this is actually going to surprise you, but number two is Shellshock Live. Dun, what? Dun, I dun. thought that was gonna be your number one! That's why it's surprising. There's actually one game that I do like more than Shellshock Live. Uh, wow. honest, for those of you in the audience game. who don't know why it's surprising, hold on, let me pull up my uh, Steam library. Uh, I have logged a total of, uh, how many is it now again? Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's right. He's mad I've logged 78 one... hours in that game. Yeah, he's uh, mad because my number one game, I've logged more hours into that than he has in Shellshock. I'm not mad. I'm I not, think I'm I win really when it comes to hours logged on Steam. That's yeah, that's right. We're not oh, talking next about is you. Gone. Next uh, is gone. Guys, um, I hate to say this, but there was a point in time where I was addicted to Dota 2, and... I have 814 hours lo um, logged on that game. 6,842 saved on Star Wars: The Old Republic. Jesus Christ. That's no, that's no surprise there. <laughs> dude, that dude. First of all, that's not something to be proud of. Oh, welcome back, Max. What the heck? Um. Oh. Hold on. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Yeah, yes. I can hear. You. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh. You get. You get that someone reason my uh, the speakers on, are on mute notification. So wait, uh, are we gonna go back to Shellshock Live talking about? Yeah, let's. Because yeah, I just so, um, uploaded the video on my Live, It is one of my favorite. It is my second favorite game, mostly because of the amount of history I had. For those of you who don't know, Shellshock Live actually started out as a flash game series. That doesn't. Which me. I'm gonna I'm admit, happy. even though I played on Twitter, I'm, I'm like I haven't even hit double digits in level yet. But I mean, I'm, the I'm amount honest, of I'm, I'm fun I had with that uh, late, latest Shell Shock Live, and and just based on the thumbnail, I can totally tell it was originally a Flash game. Yeah, there's a lot of games that originally were Flash games that are now just coming onto Steam. Yeah, that, oh, that's, that's not actually me. surprising because a lot of Flash games are ended up being more popular than the regular Steam games. Which is yeah, hilarious. Uh, for, for, uh, <laughs> it is hilarious. Like, the biggest transition challenge I had with it is like aiming because. In the flash games, you had to really overestimate your shots because it kind—you of, actually could tell how far it was going to go just by the tracer. But then when I got into Shell Shock Live, I wasn't used to the full screen, so it just like, whoop, and it's gone. Kind of like with Mysteries' first couple games. Oh, jeez, that's not that bad. Shots fired. <laughs> I know. All like right, just, oh, I, 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 love, I love the pun actually. I love the pun on that actually. Shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got. It. That was funny. All right, Dragon, what is your number two? My number two, and I will be very proud of anyone in, the, in this call that actually knows it, is the uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia games. The who or the now? Neptunia franchise is it that, in general. Is it, Neptunia franchise? Is that yeah. the one yes, with the I cat the girls? Is that the cat girls? No. That, oh, that, that's that's Necropara. Okay, I'm well, confused. Uh, another, another funny game, but, is, but that one's kind of weird. Uh, Necropara. That was another game I've played, Neptunia but never but never recorded. Least, the Neptunia franchise at least has actual like gameplay. Not is not a visual, mm -hmm. just a visual novel. That's true. 
Uh, but uh, I've never played but, that game. I know. I know. I know. I don't, don't. No. Don't, don't shoot. Hyper Dimension don't Neptunia. shoot mystery. No. Hyperdimension Neptunia, is, the original games, like, or and I guess the Rebirth uh, 1, 2, and 3, which are available on Steam, are actually JRPGs, so you might like them, mystery. Oh, is that the... Because it's based on, what, an anime or something? Or the anime was based no, the, on the, the game? No, the anime is based on the game. Yes. I've never played... But, okay, I know what you're talking about because I've seen the anime. I've never played the game. Um, but what I like about it, like the gameplay is is very solid. I I will give it that, um, and it Ooh. definitely forces you to like have to go out and grind to a degree. So so like it, like it, most it, RPGs, it, it well, forces exactly. you to grind. Exactly, and and it and it does have a lot of um replayability because because there's a lot of like plans and and characters that you have to get um have to like unlock based um based on um progress through the game and like the next playthrough and the next playthrough and you even have to play it a, a second time to even get the true ending because like you don't know how to get the true ending until after you've beaten it basically wow yeah but, that, um, does, that does sound really cool i like that but uh what the, the game the, gave the me one, a headache the one thing the one thing that's so, that sold me on this game is is the humor in it and and like the names of everything because the way it goes about doing this is that it um it's very self-aware in the fact that each of the um, each of the locations, each of the four continents in, in this um, place in in the universe that they call game industry, which I find hilarious because it's like all like co- I find it and stuff super like that. hilarious because of the it's way just it is. Um, constant constant jabs at the video game industry. It's wonderful. Basically, yeah. It, and but what I also like is how self-aware and like how aware every single character mm-hmm. is that they are in a game. Kind of like especially, Deadpool, especially Neptune. <laughs> Especially I hate to Neptune say this, because... but it's kind of like Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, but I, but not as, uh, not as um, not as comical, not as no, vulgar I, either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. It's uh more not not as R-rated. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give you that. Next, but, uh, can you hear us okay? Yeah. So you're quiet. Uh, I think he might be the one that that had the speakers turned off. That could be. But um. Yeah, okay, no, I, so we'll skip I next just, I for just, the moment because I don't think he's even in the call anymore. Yeah, but uh, no, I, I actually, yeah. I actually really. Oh. oh yeah, there he goes. Um, but um, I actually did really enjoy the Neptunia franchise. Like I've got um, Rebirth one through three. I've got um, the Action Unleashed, and I've got uh, Hyper Devotion Noir, which all of them I actually play plan on playing on my channel. Um, cool! I can't wait to watch those because I. Yeah, th- if I am able to, if I am able to, probably if I like your first video, I'll probably get it, get it myself. Yeah, um, Action Unleashed and um, Devotion and Hyper Devotion Noir are very different games. Like, um, Action Unleashed is um, a hack and slash game. It's more akin to say Devil May Cry meets um, oh, Neptunia, okay. basically. Okay, um, that makes sense. It, it, it has it has its own. Every game has its own unique twist. This one. As you take damage, um, the girls, uh, their clothes get torn up. Okay. There's no nudity. Moving on. There's no nudity in it. There's no nudity in it. Okay, okay. Don't don't worry about that. But uh, no complete nudity. Okay. Okay. (laughs) All right. I will give you that. But but considering there's only like one or two characters that um that that um don't don't have gigantic boobs, (laughs) the jiggle physics the jiggle physics in the game are absolutely ridiculous. That, that, yeah, if you're a guy, you're into that. Go ahead and complain about that. Uh, hey, not all guys are into that. Be, though, be care, though uh, I, I would recommend, uh, no, we cannot hear you, Nax. And uh, though I would recommend no, being can't. careful when it comes to uh, Rom and Ram because they look underage. They are the uh, lolly characters of the of the game. I never actually understood what a lolly is. Never lolly, understood it either. Gen- gen- generally, a, a lolly character is is someone who looks very very like looks looks very young but isn't like Ooh. for example they, they look like they're in elementary school or something like that but they're actually like 30 years old which is actually very commonplace in a lot of animes um it only gets really weird when like so, some lollies actually are that young and in Ram and ram's case yes they are that young and they act that young um that does make sense well, but yeah no the that, that, that's the only thing to be worried about in Action Unleashed is those two, but yeah. Other than that, you're but, completely fine. Well, but then again, those two those two characters are actually broken, so. Okay, so now we're I'm on to all number one. Yay! Finally, we hit number one after all this time. Number one. 
number <laughs> one for me, it, it's not going to be a huge soccer to most people, but it's going to be Stardew Valley. Oh my god. Considering I see you log on to that thing every single time I'm on Steam, I would have guessed. It, the Stardew Valley, yes. I only you have two... over 88 hours on that game. Yes, I. It is a nice, relaxing game when at night, and I want to just play a game before bed, and that's the perfect one. Oh, oh Jesus! To... Oh, there you are. There you are, Nax. Oh, okay, no, before I continue with my number one, let's go with Nax with his number two. This is Freddy's three. <laughs> it's Five Nights at Freddy's three. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, Dragon Cold! Can I flip him off now? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, okay. no. Can Can you like put a little picture on my screen while you're editing this? Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> he made okay, it good enough for I didn't. Yeah, I'm just going to go like okay, a I'll tell you guys my like actual picks at the end. Max, can, can, I, can, I, can I guess what you're going to say your number one is? What? It's not yet, not a... yet. We haven't no, got no, anybody else. I just want to make a guess. I'm guessing. I'm right. Okay. Um, it's either going to be FNAF World or, or Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just gonna sit here buying a game. Yeah. No, yet, Can so I have to further deny. Anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, I yeah, Stardew Valley is my number one. Uh, if anyone is aware of the Harvest Moon franchise from Nintendo, Stardew Valley is kind of like that, but it gets a little weirder. I would be back. Like you can, you can um, if I can see. Like, you can cheat on your spouse. You could summon your grandfather. It's all kinds of weird. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not into those type of games. Um, well, for me, well, for know. me, I like it, so. I, uh, I just, like, I just I like I farming. <laughs> I personally... Uh, I personally find the game well. While there's definitely more to it it's than this, I, fi I find Stardew Valley and like, no. Harvest Moon too similar to Farmville. I'll give you that, but Farmville's not really my. Favorite. Well, it's 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 not as it, it, there's not as much depth in Farmville as there as there is like uh, these two, those two games, but um, I find that I find that their main core mechanic in the farming is way too similar to that. And I don't know. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, Dread Mage, what's your number one? Yo, all right. So my uh, number one is uh, Total War Rome Two. What is Portal? that game? I know, I know the Total War series, but I don't, yeah. I don't know that was pretty. Never heard two, of it. Oh, Rome Two em Empire Edition or Emperor Edition. I think I've heard of that series. It's a beautiful game. It's um, military battlefield strategy mixed with economic what? strategy, mixed Sorry. with every little bit of a bunch of other junk. So, like, you have to work a military and take over the world while... So, so it's StarCraft meets Civilization. It's... Ooh. It's not exactly. <laughs> that's what it sounded like to me, but that's just... Okay, so guys, so I'm gonna hold off for you guys one second. Yeah. I gotta go see what my name is being called now. Okay. Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. <laughs> I don't wanna know. We'll find out while editing. Yeah, because yeah, I'm gonna edit it. that out. Just no, just put it in the beginning, <laughs> just to make it a little joke in the beginning. <laughs> Actually, that won't be a bad idea. Okay, so uh, anyway, so continue with I'm not your number yet. two. So number, number one. one you mean. Well, number so, one. So Total War Rome Two. Let me check, double check again how many hours I have docked on this thing. Let me scroll to the very bottom. Yeah, it, no, trust me. Uh, let's see. Total War Rome Two Empire Edition, six hundred and twenty-two hours. Not in the one game. I have, to put into comparison, I have completed. I have completed one campaign. Wow, dude! The game is massive. It keeps you entertained for hours. It's oh wonderful. my gosh! It, oh, you yeah. can also, uh, you know, or days, months, moving on. Brad, you're not the only one with a cat. Yeah, I know. You saw. I also I've have two, two cats. cats. <laughs> I've got oh, three. Yeah. Got All right, so we're going to supers number one. Okay, so, um, Minecraft! Really? <laughs> really. So I did like not Minecraft. expect Minecraft on this, on this part. <laughs> like, you know? I, like, I mean, I come on, it's, it's Minecraft. It is the best, like, not the best, but... Well, the, the PC version you're talking about, out. not like the Xbox, the PlayStation... Let's just not talk about the console. 
Yeah. No. <laughs> right, yeah, I'd rather like go PC, PC than console. Obviously oh. PC version. Oh, Jesus. But I mean, okay, like, the amazing right. things that you can do in Minecraft. Like, there's literally anything you can do, especially since there's mods. Uh, there's, like, literally anything you can do. Anything you want to build that doesn't have anything to do with curves or uh, triangles or any other shape that isn't a block. Oh, genitals. Oh. <laughs> I gotta ask. Edit that out. <laughs> No, I don't, like I don't I, I, There's going to be less editing like, on this one than it is the other one. Like, originally on the list, if you can see, like, uh, this was my original. This is how the you list had a list. Looks. Nice. Yeah. Like, I, I, I wrote, I like wrote originally, Shellshock and Minecraft were switched, but I decided at the last minute to change that. that okay, sense. back now. <laughs> Bring it out of left field. It's, a, it's okay. It, it, we'll deal with that. Okay, Dragon, what is your number one game? Uh, my NPC. number one. It's it's a more recent one, and um, I'm not sure if you guys will know it. Is Ori and the Blind Forest? Oh, oh, that one. I that that looks so good. cute. I that good. absolutely loved that game. Like every every moment of it. Um, the story was very it was drew you in. It was very emotional. It helped de- like everything. All the characters developed very well. Um, the graphics were incredible, though I will admit that um, they could have toned down on, on some of the uh, on some of the lights a bit, just because like Ori blended in well with like a lot of the white light, since he's a little white cat guy. Yeah. But um. And then and then it's uh, and it's from it's from it's from my me- my favorite genre. It's a Metroidvania style game, and. Yeah, it was the, known to be one of the more casual yeah, kind, the though. Scratch the head, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's scratch the Actually, head. I wouldn't say that because as the, um, if well, it was like, massive. The game, the game was absolutely oh, yeah. massive, but it was oh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. in, in oh, yeah. size. Yes, I will admit it's definitely a lot smaller than a lot of Metroidvania style games. Like, look at a, a regular Metroid game; those things are massive. <laughs> those things go on for ages. But um, no, what 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 I what I liked about it was how difficult it was as well like it, yeah like, it, it, it would, like i watched jack septic i play and i there were like was, over five or six times on the one part he would kept cussing at his mistake and i'm like what the heck it was a punishing game like if you messed up once in some of those um huger uh, like bigger sections it like the game would like destroy you um like i think because uh, like, I I did um, a series for it on my channel before I like made it more specific, though I would not recommend watching it because it was very laggy and a lot of audio issues were in it and it really pissed me the hell off. That actually um, makes sense. But um, I ended up getting used to the lag, but that's besides the point. Um, no, the the um, there's this one section in the uh, there's this one section right before the final like dungeon area um, called. What was it called? Um, it was something. Big dungeon area. No, the the, the the third dungeon area was called Mount Horu. Uh, mm-hmm. This was right. This was right after the second dungeon. Um, that was the Forgotten uh, Ruins or something like that. Um, when in doubt, add ruins what, to a video game. What was it called? No, well, the, what the Forgotten Ruins was, was was crazy because um, the the unique mechanic with it was um, you had to carry around this little orb of light and. Depending, and it would and it manipulated gravity, so Ooh. you could like walk along walls uh, while holding it, like walk upside down. It was really, really weird. That actually makes sense. I I don't doubt that. And, and I mean, uh, I've seen the game. It's really beautiful, and it looks like it could really kill you. Uh, oh, here, here here it is. I um is is this it? Ah. Uh, is this it? I don't remember. I think it's Sorrow Pass. Sorrow Pass? Yeah, Sorrow what? Pass. It's like really high up in the game. It's where you have to get the um, the key to get into the uh, into Mount Horu. Oh. And a lot of that area um, involves you using one of the um, item, the item that you get from um, the enemy Kuro uh, called Kuro's Feather. Which allows oh, you to like, sort yeah, of that along. cute little feather. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that. but um, yeah. So it forced you to be to use that and it really forced you to try to get to get the uh, triple jump as early as possible to make it easier to get around in there okay and, yeah uh, i understand that completely be- because that place was littered with spikes Ooh. and 
I kid you not, um, it would take away like four four life cells or like two to four life cells in one go, just getting hit once. So it could like insta give you if you didn't have enough life cells. Oh wow. Um, and I'm I actually when when it came out, I uh, spent the five like the five and a half bucks to get the um, definitive version, and that actually has the um, the ability to make it to uh, to make it a hard mode, and like a, re a like a, ba a basic enemy at the beginning of the game could basically kill you one one shot in a hard mode. It was crazy, but um, See the rats. <laughs> but you, you know what? But I yeah, loved the game. The story was so good and immersive. I, know, I liked the story it, it was, because it it, yeah. it drew it drew you in the moment you opened the game. Well, yeah, like I I I um uh, I kid you not, like I I um. The, my the the very first uh, episode I I uh, had I think I titled it all of the feels because it was like the 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 prologue was like oh god no <laughs> that's so cute okay Nax what is your number one if you can hear us oh well dragon you have been wrong once again Ooh. it is the joy of recreation reborn <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, you so missed that, that one. one. Yeah, that's I been recently that getting really on good. YouTube a lot recently. Oh well, that, yeah. that, that's that's because it's gained so much traction for it being free roam. It took the Five Nights at Freddy's formula and threw it on mm -hmm. its head and said, "You know what? I'm not gonna stick by your formula. I'm gonna say screw you and change it up." So basically, because... it said, "Screw you! I'm just gonna take your characters and make a completely screw... different formula." Yeah, screw well, you! But... I'm taking I'm taking your characters and making my own game. Well, but the thing is, is Guys, if Scott character. wanted to, he could easily. If Scott wanted to, um, he could easily sue this guy for for taking his intellectual properties. But he's not if, because he's. Well, Scott Scott's pretty good about this sort of thing. Again. Like, consider considering how much traction Five Nights has gotten, he's pretty good about fan games, especially if they they use like his property in, in a little bit of way. And I think, yeah. like, in the dis I think, like, the reason why is, like, you need to put, like, in the description, it's based on this game, but it's fan-made. Kind of. Yeah. But, like, it it really is incredibly made, and it's it uses the Unreal Engine 4. I've never heard of that engine. It's one- it I think it's one- skill to use that engine. It's, it's probably one of the higher-end um, graphics engines out there. And plus, it's, it's super scary if you do the free roam. And I think he's still working well, that's, on the that, story-based? Like, yeah, just that, the that's, story? That's what the, uh, that's what the, uh... uh oh, Joy I'll tell you guys my wanted. top five in a bit, wait. Yeah, no worries. What? But, um, the Joy... The jo he, he's gonna tell us his legitimate one, because he's stuck with all Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. <laughs> that's true. Okay, but, um, what other one? I, I felt that... Like, the, the game still has a lot to go. There's still There's still some kinks to work out, obviously. Like, with Bonnie, if you get noticed, you're screwed. Because he's that fast. Okay, no. if, if, if he finds you, you're dead. Um, and Foxy, yeah. I love... The one I love the most, though, was Foxy. I love Foxy's mechanic. Because, um, with Foxy, you uh, he's constantly following you. And, uh, but, however, he, um, he doesn't actually try to kill you until his lights turn on. And if they're if they're just like the regular lights, you have to flash a flashlight in his face and, and get him to stop for a while. However, if you do that before the lights come on, his lights turn red and he instantly and he just chases you and kills you. There's nothing you can do to stop him. Okay. So next, what what were you gonna say? Okay. Wait. What is this? <laughs> what are you doing? I, I didn't find the chips. So. The Doritos are uh, over there in the cat. Like the third cabinet, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. I checked. Doritos. 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 You want to take your gun? Doritos. Take your gun. Why is my tablet there? Take your tablet. Why is, why is take, your game. Game. take your game. Take your PP. Take your. Take your. Oh no. oh no. What is with what is the gun? Uh oh, it's an air horn. What is what? I think it's an air horn. What are you doing with a Nerf gun? I heard my little brother start coming down the stairs. He's making YouTube videos. What the? Oh my God! Super. 
Okay. Oh okay. my god. I think I think we're gonna think end it right here. I wanna thank all my special guests for coming on to the very first wow. episode of Game Review. And like I said, this is a more casual game review. We go through any kind of platforms, any type of games from old to new. Uh, we give our opinions. If we've ever played the game before, we give our opinions of that game. And we don't judge. This is a no judgment zone here. I know the comments lies. are going to be All a lies. judgment zone, but but the, everybody's going to be a, in the judgment zone. <laughs> there is no judgment zone with what game is on your list. The, the, the comment, the co the comment section is is, is Judge Judy's section. Oh. <laughs> okay, top five. You ready? So I well, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, hold up, hold up. Max is giving us his actual top five. What? All right. Okay, number five is Five Nights at Freddy. Oh, no, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's four. Um, number four is Super Hot. Ooh. Number three is Batman Arkham City. Okay. Red, stop cocking the gun! No, we're <laughs> Counter-Strike. Ooh. Ooh, Global gosh. Offense. Oh, and yeah. number one is Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod, I, 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 I don't... I'm play. really surprised I was the only person who said Minecraft at all. <laughs> you you, you I, are. I don't play Minecraft anymore, so... I do whatever. Sugarcraft, but that's just basically what I do for Minecraft, basically. God damn it, Dredd. <laughs> I have put the sensor bar back up on my screen. I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on both your screens at this point. <laughs> I can have, louder. Can't we do the outro without you guys like completely blasting in my ears? This is really possibly. Hurting. All right. Not so. Nine. I want to thank you guys so much for watching again. Thank you, Dread Mage, Super, Dragon, and Nax. I want to thank you guys all for coming into this game roundtable, but it's going to be a game review, so why not? <laughs> round, uh, why don't you just call it the roundtable of games? Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. Boom. I want to thank you guys Tied so much for... Yes, stolen. <laughs> so I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this will be every month. This is not going to be like an every week thing. This is going to be an every month thing so that we get more times to for people to uh, All right, can get you into. What we're do again next time. I guess next month's video will be PlayStation. From okay, all well, I, places. I, I can't be a part of that one because I don't know PlayStation. So. Yay, I know two games! Like, I actually do have a top five list of PlayStation games, even though I've literally never played PlayStation. Right, like, it, it, it can be me, or we can do what? Just PlayStation and Xbox. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. PlayStation and Xbox games. Because we have a variety of people. Then I'm in. All right, so we're going to All right. So and then we can say old games. We PlayStation and Xbox games. We're gonna actually let Riot do her outro. Yeah, can I do my outro, please? Without the gun thing. Dread, I swear to God. <laughs> you go, she can mute God. You. No, she oh gosh, the super! Down. No, no, no! Back away from the camera. Back hey, away man. from the camera. No, well, dude, I, how much money do you want? I, I'll take it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I, I, Give it to me. <laughs> so I Wait, thank you guys so much for this, watching. This again, game, thank you for all of my special guests. And again, I next month will be PlayStation and Xbox. It will be old and new games. We're not going to go to recent until later on in the year when more games come out. So I thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all later. Stay frosty. Bye. See you Bye. next time. I, I can't put wait, the gun away. If I could, I would be no. weak. <laughs> Bye, Elsa.